Thank you. I'll give the floor to the United Towns Agency South Cooperation. Mr. President, Pakistan is blatantly guilty of conducting systematic racism against Baloch people, and this is through political and economic in its purpose and aims. It is at the same time racially motivated as the aim of the program against Baloch is to enable people of Punjab and Urdu-speaking people to subjugate Baloch people and exploit Balochistan's resources for their needs. Being Baluch is now a crime enough to be discriminated against by security forces and the Baluch have regularly faced humiliation of body searches and questioning at thousands of check posts manned by Punjabi and Pashtun personnel. Mr. President, the Army Frontier Corps and the Coast Guard's personnel are overwhelmingly Punjabi and Pashtun and conduct themselves as racially superior and completely disregard the norms of Baluch culture and customs. Baluch civilian houses are being destroyed in different parts of Balochistan, namely this week in Esplinji, a Baluch activist, Sir Faraz Bangalzai's house has been demolished by Pakistani army. This is a prime example of discrimination against the Baluch. The Durban Declaration and Program of Action asserts the principles of equality and non-discrimination as core human rights, thus transforming victims of discrimination into rights holders and states into duty bearers. Mr. President, DDPA assigns the primary responsibility of combating racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance to states, and it calls for active involvement of international and non-governmental organizations, political parties, human rights institutions, the private sector, the media, civil society at large, but in Pakistan, all this is observed more by violation than by compliance of these principles. The media in Pakistan regularly telecast shows where Baluch are invited with the express purpose of ridiculing them. Mr. President, racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance constitute a negation of the purpose or principles of the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I thank you, Mr. President. Thank 